Hey guys, so today I'm going to start showing you some of my more random polishes. Um, I need to make a list of exactly what I still need to show you guys. So I know I didn't show you these because these are over on my, my desk. So I'm going to start off with hard candy. So let's go ahead and we'll get started. Some of these I have worn, so I'll show you the, the swatch ring. Okay, this first one up is called Flower Bomb. Now, I don't buy very many hard candy polishes because I think they're so expensive and you don't get a lot in these little round ones. But this one here is just a glitter mix. And it's um, matte glitters and it's a different color pinks. And then I believe that's white. It's either white or a very light pink. And they're all various size hex glitters. So there it is on the brush. And here it is. One coat on the wheel. Some of those larger ones you do need to manipulate a little bit to get them where you want them. But they're not that bad. Next one up is called crush on pink and this is just a pink foil and you can see it's got some gold in there okay here it is on the brush and if you guys haven't bought any hard candy and you don't know what their brush looks like this is their brush it's a nice brush i don't have any issues with their brush but here is one coat of crush on pink Most of the hard candies do have a fairly decent formula. This next one up is one of my favorites. This one is called Wild Child. And I know back in February when I posted it on my Instagram, I was not able to get the blue shift that's in there. But you could see there's a nice blue shift in there. And there's also some blue like glass fleck going on in there. This is a real pretty polish. And there it is on the brush. And here's the one coat on the swatch. Okay, next up, it needs to be shaken. This one is called Sugar Rush, and this is a very, it's almost kind of a gray colored Crelly with matte black and metallic silver hex glitters. Okay, there's on the brush, and here is one coat on the swatch. This one has a little bit of a tricky formula, it seems. It doesn't seem to be the greatest. This next one is called Pink Pixie, or sorry, Pixie Pink. And it's the same as Sugar Rush, except it's in a pinkish purple base with some metallic teal and silver hex glitters. It looks like, I don't know if those are pink glitters in there too, or if they're just being colored that way from the base. I think they might be pink in there too. Yeah, those look like pink glitters and silver glitters. Next one up, same avenue as the last two. This one is called... Coco S'more, and this is a brown Crelly base with the matte black and silver hexes. 
Okay, there's on the brush, and here is one coat on the swatch. This one has a much better formula than the first one did. This next one up I must have worn, but I don't remember when. And um, I must not have had my swatch rings. And I also must not have marked it because I didn't do a swatch ring. But this is called Crush on Lava. And this is your typical bronzy red to gold um, duochrome foil. Okay, there it's on the brush. Okay, here's one coat on the swatch. Okay, and last one for this video. And I'll go do the second coat. This one is called Cosmic Love Affair. And this is a beautiful blue uh, micro glitter shimmer. I'm not 100% sure. I've not worn it. But it's beautiful. Mm. Looks like it's in a blue jelly base. So here is one coat of Cosmic Love Affair. Sorry for the blur. Okay, so that's all of them, and I'm going to come back after the second coat, so I will be right back. Okay, guys. So here is two coats of Flower Bomb, and I also have it on the swatch ring here. And this is completely dry. It does dry a little textured, so for this you will want um, a good top coat. Okay, next up is Crush on Pink, and I also have that on a swatch ring. Okay, nice metallic foil, those gold flakies in there stand out fairly well. Okay, next we have Wild Child. Also, of course, have this on the swatch ring. And unfortunately, that blue shift really doesn't come through on the wheel or the ring or on your nails, which kind of stinks. Here is Sugar Rush, two coats, Pixie Pink, Coco S'more. Crush on Lava actually needs to have three coats to become fully opaque. And then we have Cosmic Love Affair. It's just gorgeous and was basically opaque on one coat. Okay, so there you have it. There is Hard Candy um, Part 1. I will be back in a bit with Part 2. Have a great day. Bye.